Hi there, I'm Sean Doman. In this video series, I'll be sharing seven tips and tricks on how to read faster. In fact, many of these techniques are tried and true methods that I've been working on for years and you won't see in any other videos. Keep watching. Tip number seven, read more and find your way. One of the best ways to get good at something is to do it a lot. However, the old adage, practice makes perfect, isn't necessarily true. If you practice something imperfectly, you'll simply get good at doing it imperfectly. The expression should be, perfect practice makes perfect. So if you're going to read a lot, be sure that you're doing it in a way that works for you. I remember that when I was a kid, I'd see an infomercial on late night TV, which featured a studious looking man who quickly ran his fingers over pages before a host would quiz him about the context of the pages that he had just scanned in only a few seconds. At the time, I was extremely impressed. It seemed as if the man had read many pages in only seconds. However, because I was just a child, I didn't appreciate that the purpose of the commercial was to sell books promising to teach supernatural speed reading powers and that it was likely all a sham. Since that time, I've read many books about speed reading, spent a lot of time looking into the subject, and tried many of the techniques, and for me, they don't work. However, everyone is different and all of our brains work differently. If you've never heard of Stephen Wiltshire, he's an architectural artist and an autistic savant who can draw buildings and skylines from memory. One of his most famous works includes an 18 foot tall picture of New York City, which he drew from memory after taking only a 20 minute helicopter ride over the city. So for someone like Mr. Wiltshire, perhaps skimming and speed reading may work and he could read, comprehend, and retain the contents of many books in only minutes. For someone like me, however, that simply isn't possible and it doesn't work. But for you, maybe it would work. So if you want to look into speed reading and skimming techniques, I would encourage you to do so. And this leads me to perhaps the broadest piece of advice that I have, which is that you should do whatever works for you to achieve your goal of reading faster. I'm not sugarcoating it in this video that learning how to read faster may take hard work. Reading is a skill and it takes time and effort to get good at it. However, many of my tips and tricks can help you get to where you want to go faster right now. So there you have it, my seventh tip on how to read faster. If you learned something new from this video, then make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Just click the subscribe button below this video. And now I'd like to turn it over to you. Is the tip in this video something that you've tried before? And if not, do you think that it may work for you and is something that you may try? Let me know by leaving a comment right now.